Projects 90, and it's a project by the artist Song Dong. He's uh, born in 1966, lives and works in Beijing, and the piece that we're looking at today is a piece called Waste Knot, and it's actually a collaboration that he did with his mother. In this kind of monstrous installation in our atrium, we have um, the, the big component you see behind me is actually a piece of the artist's family home from Beijing. And it was disassembled and brought over as part of the exhibition. And then arrayed around it are all of the things that the artist's mother collected over the course of her lifetime. And she was very much of the generation that kind of came of age during the Cultural Revolution in China and kind of grew up with this idea of waste not, want not. And there is kind of a Chinese equivalent of that maxim. But the idea was that resources were so tremendously scarce that you really couldn't let things go to waste. And this was something that was so ingrained in her from a relatively young age that it was something she was never able to shake. And so she went through her entire life holding on not only to kind of to resources that seem logical to keep, but also to things like bottle caps without matching bottles. All of these are chipped dishware. All of these kinds of things were things that she felt she needed to hold on to. And in her own way, she saw it as kind of a protective amulet, as a way of kind of, of, of safeguarding herself against whatever unknowns may come in the future. When the artist's father died in 2002, it was really a shock to his mother. And it was at that point that she almost kind of locked herself down. She stopped going out, she stopped seeing people socially. It really sounds like she was, she was so incredibly grief-stricken over this event. And at that point, her collecting became much, much worse. And, you know, I talked before about this idea of her kind of safeguarding her family against what might come in the future. But what she was really doing at that point was holding on to the past. She was using all of this stuff as a means of kind of preserving the relationship that she'd had with her husband, the relationship that she'd had with her children when they were little. And so she kind of kept the stuff as a means of holding on to those relationships. So I think at that point, it really became kind of an obsessive behavior. And it was really at that point that he suggested, or he started thinking about ways other than just saying, this stuff is a problem, to help her kind of break out of that mindset. And the idea of doing the collaboration was what he proposed to her. And, and the beauty of it is not only this wonderful piece that I think our visitors have really enjoyed experiencing, but also the fact that it actually fulfilled her desire. Her desire was always that this material would be of use again to her family. And in the end, that's exactly what it was. It just wasn't in the way that she necessarily expected it would be.